Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just gonna be kind of doing like a speed cleaning downstairs. My boyfriend and the baby are taking a nap upstairs. I just got off physical therapy, so this gives me a perfect opportunity. I have an hour to clean up downstairs. Let's see if I can do, try to do this in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna time myself, but I just wanna show you guys what I'm gonna be cleaning up. So this is my morning cleaning routine. Um, I always start downstairs, so that way I do everything downstairs. And then upstairs, because it is the bedrooms, I'll do that on a different day. So like I'll change the sheets and stuff, which is tomorrow. Um, but today we're just gonna do my usual morning cleanup. And since everyone's upstairs sleeping, that means that I can really, really get into whatever I need to. So let's see how much I can get done in half an hour. And if you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my videos and give this video a thumbs up uh, if you're into cleaning or if you need some cleaning motivation if you enjoy this video so keep watching guys let's see how much I can get done All right, so I'm gonna start over here in the dining room area, putting everything back where it belongs in its place, and then I'll go ahead and clean off the table with some spray. Does anyone else's dining room tend to clutter up the most? Um, it is farther back in the house, so you would think that it would be kept clean and uncluttered. Um, but for some reason, this is where most of the buildup occurs. Um, and then that box, I just set it over to the side because it's some Poshmark items that I actually have to send off. Um, so I do need to package it. That's why I haven't put it away. It's just there. I really like a lot of natural light in a house and since we live in a two we live in a town home we basically our main windows are in the front of the house and the back of the house and the back of the house doesn't get that much sunlight so I try to always leave the curtains open as often as I can especially on a beautiful day like this So I'm just continuing using the Indus spray to dust also the entertainment center and polish anything, wipe down surfaces. Um, the Indus cleaner is really, really good. I've always used this. It's a nice scent. It's not heavy. It's good at polishing wood and also multi-surfaces as well. So you don't have to use it just for wood. You can use it for countertops. I haven't used it in the bathroom as far as the sinks. I do have a different spray, but it is multi-surface. Um, you can also use it to clean glass as well, and it doesn't streak. Um, and it's really good for those of you who are very sensitive to um, dust or allergies or have are sensitive to allergies this spray is really good to use because it doesn't it actually cleans everything up it doesn't just spread it into the air All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh the sofa and the cushions. Gonna go ahead and flip them, fluff, and spray with the Febreze One Spray. This smells really nice and it's not overwhelming.
And now we head over to where I think is always going to be the messiest part of the house, the play area. <laughs> I swear I have cleaned this so many times, but since she's sleeping is the best time to clean it up. I know she'll mess it up a little bit later, but I can at least kind of clean it up and wipe down all the surfaces. And I'm using the Baby Gannix, uh toy and high chair cleaner. Um, when she was a newborn, or I think right before she was born, I found a really good deal on these and I literally stocked up on them and I think this is the last one. I bought like four of them. Um, I have this and I have some other Baby Gannick products, but this stuff is really, really good because it is non-toxic. This play area was kind of reorganized. Um, I'll link that video down for you guys below in the description box if you wanted to check that out. And here I am, I'm just gonna be spot vacuuming. Again, they are sleeping upstairs and I don't wanna use the big vacuum because I don't want it to wake them up. I don't know how loud it's going to be while they're sleeping. So I'm just using the dust buster to spot clean um, in this area, anything that I see. So right here I'm in the kitchen, I got a little sidetracked. Um, I'm actually hand washing Camila's training underpants. Uh, she had an accident earlier that morning. So I'm just hand washing them really quickly before I go on to cleaning the rest of the kitchen. Right, so I'm just drawing all the dishes, putting everything where it goes before I move on to wiping down the counters. guys so it is 10 59 I just finished cleaning everything so this is the after um, all I really need to do like literally like in two more minutes um, I can just do a really quick Swiffer if you need to um, you can just do a quick Swiffer everywhere I, mean, I can mop always later but it's much better there's nothing on the floor I was able to dust um, with everything here with this back able to dust everything that box goes upstairs um, and then I still have to put all that goes upstairs so like that basket and this up here has to go upstairs um, but everything is dusted off um, I have to mail that so yeah um, and I was able to um, freeze it fluff the cushions um, I was able to spot vacuum here clean everything down I can just like do like a really good vacuum later in the mop. I can do that tonight, but um, but this is my morning cleanup. I try to do everything within about half an hour, just because I don't want to spend the whole morning cleaning. But this is just like a quick cleanup of everything. Um, 
everything is clean, the sink is clean. Um, I'm gonna put that on my diffuser. Um, so, and I'll burn, I'll light that candle. Um, but yeah, this is Camila's because she likes to stand on that table from there. Um, she stands on here and this is like her stuff to play with. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but everything is wiped down and clean. Um, yeah, that's just bread and because we don't have an area to put bread, but that's bread. <laughs> but yeah, so everything is pretty much clean. I'll sweep and mop later tonight. Um, but if you have like two or three minutes to spare, you can go ahead and just do a dry swiffer. But this is it. Everywhere. So again, it wasn't um, a deep clean. Um, I will be doing a deep cleaning since we're going to be doing spring cleaning coming up. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching my quick morning cleaning routine. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!